Hi guys, welcome to Freely Dan channel. I'm Valeria and today I am going to show you how to a very nice way to practice your basic with a belly bar. You also can use either chair or wall or table or something stable and you're going to find out how many things you can control by using a belly bar or something what you have. So let me show it to you and we'll try with you nice and slow. Okay, so we will start with you right away with our basic walk. So as I told you earlier, we're gonna use our back basic, which is we'll step back, replace the weight forward, and bring the foot in. And we'll do it again. Back, forward, close the foot. So what is important to think about here, when I'm leading my leg back. So see how I am standing with my weight forward and trying to be connected towards to the belly bar. So it's helped me to feel enough pressure forward and also giving me space to leading my foot back. Then when you lead the foot back and your knees in a one line, that's where you would stop lead your foot back and put your heel down. So let's try it again. Leading the foot, feel like you are pushing towards the belly bar. Stop the foot and put the heel down. After here, rotating your hip, bring your weight forward and feel how you again moving towards to the belly bar. So it's a very nice connection. And when you're moving towards the belly bar, feel a little bit like you are wanna move the belly bar towards to you. Then when you push away, you are more pushing and think that you're moving it forward. And when you move forward, you're moving a belly bar towards to you. And same idea would be for your legs. When you're moving back, you wanna feel like you're kind of moving floor forward. And opposite, when you're moving forward, you wanna feel like you're pushing the floor back. Also, your fingers can help you a little bit start to feel it better. So when I'm bringing myself forward, I'm kind of closing the fingers and pull it in. And when I go back, I open the fingers and pushing more just with the pump. And again, close the fingers and open, close, open. Then you can do it more with the bringing your foot in, which is gonna help you to work with the rotation a little bit more. And again, back, forward, bring it in. And again, back, forward, bring it in. Same we're gonna do with our other leg. Same idea. You wanna start with a good connection forward, lead your foot, having a one line, place the heel down, rotate, close the fingers, feel how you pull it towards to the belly bar, and do it several times at the rocking forward and back. Try to work a little bit with your hand. When you are pushing back, you open the fingers. When you're going forward, you're closing the fingers and then start to bring your foot in. And again, you go back, forward, bring it in. Again, back, forward, bring it in. So this way you're gonna develop a nice connection. Plus you're always gonna control how far you need to move your upper body because the most popular mistake when we over sending the body back and we always want to stay in the center right in the center of my standing leg the next step gonna be adding a kind of a step and changing the weight in a place between the rocking so you can change your foot so what are we gonna do it's kind of same thing I would bring my weight forward and do the same walk back forward but then I would rotate 
close my foot, change the weight, and change the weight again. And again, back, forward, bring the foot in, change, change. This way I want you to feel how you stay connected and without extra moving, by holding here the pressure, you would start to feel how you're rotating the side, one side, and then the other one, without moving too much again in your shoulders, by keeping a pressure. And again, you go back, forward, close the foot, change, change. And we use a full beat here. We'll go back, two, three, close, four, change, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And again, away, forward, close, change, close, change. And we're gonna do the same with the other side. Again, we we'll bring it in, pressure, and we go back, forward, close the foot, step on it, step, and back, and forward, and step, and step. Also, the belly bar gonna help you a little bit focus more on your footwork. So when you have some pressure here, it's a little bit easy to feel how you are connected, the pressure in your hand with the pressure in your foot. And again, you change and again, feel how you are connection and pushing towards to the belly bar, connecting with the putting your heel down. So it's a little bit give you a better control and connection between all your body action, leg action. So you can do it even several times by just in place. You also can turn and do it with the both hands, just in place to practice it and change it without adding extra shoulders and holding a nice pressure. And then you come back and do it all with a step again. A two and three, close four, change one and back two, forward three and four and one. And the last step gonna be adding a little bit of a syncopation rhythm so we can slightly speed up here. And syncopation we're gonna do in our changing. So we'll do same rock back, we'll go back two, three, then we'll bring our foot in and we're gonna go four and one. And then we'll change the foot and go the other foot back, two and three, and four and one and again two and three uh, four and one and two and three and four and one here i want you to feel how after the rock step you bring in your foot in and you go a little bit higher in your center so you can do your quick quick slow. So remember we have when we have a fast changes, we want to go higher in our center. And on the last one, you'll compress a little bit again. And we come back to a back rock. Forward. Bring in center in, go four and one. And two. And three. And a four. And one. And two. And three and four and one and we're gonna do also with the other arm so you'll feel a little bit different opposition and you go again back two forward three four and one and back two forward three a four and one and two and three and four and one and what we're gonna do with you at the end, we'll try nice and smooth, connect all these three 
exercise together. So basically we did with you a kind of a build up. We start with the slow rocking, adding a little bit more transferring the weight and then adding a little bit of a speed. Same way you can do with music. You come here, you go slow, two, three, four, hold one, two, and three, and four, hold one, two, three, four, one. So I did four measures of a slow transferring of the weight with the collection of my foot in. And then I do same four measures, but only with the changing of the weight. So I go back to three, I'm bringing in four, one, and again, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, one. And the last four measures, you're gonna speed up on your changing. And two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. And then you're gonna turn and do the same thing, but with another leg. You start slow, two, and three, close, four, hold one, and two, and three, close, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, try to practice it slow, choose your speed as slow as you need, just to make sure if you practice it slow, don't hesitate with the stepping and straightening your knee. And then as you feel comfortable with that, you don't have to think what to do next. You can choose a slow music and later the fast one. Good luck, keep pushing on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let us know how you felt with this exercise and if you like the belly bar like we have, please send us messages, text it us directly and we'll help you with that. It's very comfortable to practice. You'll find many ways to use it. And thumbs up, subscribe our channel, shares and likes. Bye.